John Cena! Hi guys! I'm back. It's been a while. Music's loud in my ears. Might not be in yours. I might be louder. Who knows? I think the audio is pretty balanced right now. I feel like I have to change it every time that I log into this game. But hello, last time I was still working on Karma which was actually only about a couple days ago and uh it's been a little while since i've picked up this game <laughs> and this is one of the hardest battles for me because i just mess up at some point even though this is my favorite kind of fight style i don't know it's fun but also so difficult so hi we're gonna play against undyne i'm gonna do my best to do her voice however my hand cannon voice for her is different not different it's hard to do quietly I don't want to be shouting because that's loud. So, let's hopefully, let's get into it. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. I'm guard. John Cena. Okay, I have been holding that back for so long. It's a thing that I do every time I listen to this. It is my ringtone, actually, no. This is my text tone. The beginning is like da 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 da. That is my text tone. It has been that for several years now. I think it's actually been that for five years. Uh, yeah. Undyne is great. She's awesome. And, uh, cool. <laughs> you tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Alright. This isn't too bad. It starts pretty slow. It smells like sushi. I like sushi. I like sushi. Um, you tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. I'm making this really difficult for myself. Not bad! Then how about this? Do 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 See, this is like exactly one of my favorite kinds of fight styles. I also imagine that Undyne would be the kind who has a superhero landing. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get even faster. For years, I've dreamed of a happy ending. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Uh, plead. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Oh, no. Her attacks become a little less extreme. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. I can't talk while I fight her. It's so hard. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. She is also one of my favorite- Okay, like, everybody's my favorite character, let's be real. But, I don't know. She's grown on me over the years. She wasn't, like, my favorite favorite, but she's definitely grown on me. You tell- Oh, shoot. I picked the wrong one. Oh, well, that's fine. I won't let you snatch it away from us! Oh, bup, dup, dup. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I do love how, like, determined she is. She is so cool. I aspire to be as cool as she is. You un you told Undyne you just want to be friends. She want she remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Nyaaah! Enough warming up! Boop, 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 boop. I was not. Oof, that was bad. <laughs> uh, let's just see the unicycle. Heh, <laughs> you're tough. Uh, this isn't too bad. It smells like sushi. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. But even if you could beat me. Um. Oof. That was close. Alright, we're back to doing the thing. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Oof. Uh, she flashes a menacing smile. Honestly, killing you is now is an act of mercy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh. <laughs> Super spiffy. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
She towers menacingly. Stop being so damn resilient! Uh, uh. Okay, I think the next part I can do without... She draws her finger across her neck. I'm gonna do one more before I start fleeing. What the hell are humans made out of? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! Okay. Oh. We're gonna- we're gonna eat some nice cream. And then we're gonna run. Anyone else would be dead by now! Okay, 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 Oh. Okay, let's- oh shoot. Spare. Alpha's told- Alpha's told me humans were determined. Undyne points heroically to the sky. Oh, I could have run. Oh, shit. Oh, I see now what she means by that. Uh, she draws her finger across her neck. Alright. But I'm determined too. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, I don't have that much left. Nice cream! Determined to end this right now. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, turns into Fetico. Right now. Uh, tower threateningly. Right now. Up, uh, 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 I tried. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut some parts again. Our fate rests upon you. Chachi, stay determined. I feel like I had a voice I was planning for him, but I can't remember what it was. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it. That's it then. No more running away! Here I come. On guard. As long as you're green, you can't escape unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Okay, this is weird, her going so slowly. Okay, spare. Not bad! Then how about this? Undyne flips your spear impatiently. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Flashes her menacing smile. I won't let you snatch it away from us! Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Yeah, enough warming up! All right, I'm free, so we're gonna flee. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Shit. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Undyne bounces impatiently. No human ever made it past Asgore. Oof. Smells like sushi. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Undyne flips your spear impatiently. So stop being so damn resilient! Alright. I just realized that the back of this is like moving. It's kind of cool. Running, 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 running. Oh god. <sighs> uh, you've escaped from me for the last time! Undying attacks. Alphys told me humans were determined. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Undying flips her spear impatiently. I see now what she means by that. Ah. 
but I'm determined to. Ah, good. Duh. Okay. Uh, unicycle. Determined to end this right now. Ah. Okay. Right now. <sighs> Smells like slushy. Right now. Uh, 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 uh. Damn it. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of me running. <laughs> You're going to be alright. Chachi, stay determined. Yeah. Smells like Sushi. Determined to end this right now. I think I can make it. <sighs> okay. One more. <sighs> okay. Nice cream. Ha ha. Okay. I already a little brat. Oop. I'm so bad at these. Okay. Okay. Flee. Papyrus. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Thanks. Stop running away! Okay, I'm gonna run. Hey, Sans. Bye, Sans. <laughs> All right. God, that was that was that was uh, difficult. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. I'm sorry, I'm not good at acting. <laughs> Alright, let's get her some water. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Yes. Although this water would probably be hot unless it's like specifically the cold stuff. I don't know. How's it going? Alright, let's go check on the scenes. Oh, well, he got yelled at. Okay, I see how it is, bud. Ooh, who are you? Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. We did it! Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Alright. I can't believe I made that. Oh god, that was so much. Alright. Oh gosh, this is going to be fun. It's you? It's too dark to see it near the walls. And... Oh, hi! Oh, hold up. <clears throat> Do we break the laws of attraction? Oh, oh my god! I, I didn't expect you to show up so, so soon! I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed! It's all messy and... I love Alphys. Um, uh, uh, hiya! I, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything! 
I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. S so, uh, I now, I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti- anti-combat- anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, it, hopefully you, you won't run into him. Hmm? D did you hear anything? Editing Chotch. You know what music to put in. Welcome, beauties! <laughs> to today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! I love that, like... Stock audio. Never played before, but you're gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Oh. I, I, like right now, um, you can't see my face, but I am doing the exaggerated mouth things a la. Wilfred Warfstash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all. <laughs> Act. Uh, sure, let's cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um, more questions. Alright, sounds like you get it. Quiz show continues. Uh, let's just. Oop, no. No, we're not fighting. Spare. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? It's Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer. Quiz show continues. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are both robots made out of? Metal and magic! Too easy for you, huh? Well, here's another easy question for ya. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart from the station A, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna just go with what Alphys is telling us. Wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in the jar? Correct! You are so lucky today! You're not getting shot at all! Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered. I've watched all your shows, Metaton. But can you get to this one? Would you smooth a ghost? Um, we're gonna go for, um, we're gonna go for, um, we're gonna go for heck yeah. I would smooch a skeleton first, but, you know, that's just me. Ghosts are Ghosts are second in my book, because I'm I'm a skelly. I like skeletons. <laughs> Spare. Here's a simple one. How many letters and the name Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. Of course. Time to break out the big guns. 
Literally, look at this new gun. Not really, I'm not. I don't... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm just really having fun with this. <laughs> and dating simulator... Simu oh, 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 oh I, I know this one, it's snail. It's in the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the bed and she buys ice cream for all of her friends and it's snail flavor and it's the only one she wants it. It's one of her favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Oh. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You only short and only answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Fish face. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human had figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her names in the margins of her notes. She names the programming of variables after- Oh my god, Alphys. <laughs> She even writes stories of them together. She writes real person fanfic? Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush? 101%. Margin of error? 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But... This was just the pilot up, so next up... More drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Bye bye. I had too much fun with that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, that was certainly interesting. Something. That was something. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, let me give you my f phone number. Uh, then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Uh, well, where'd you get that phone? It's it's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Well, wait a second, please. Uh, that was... I think you use, like, Mario Maker noises in some of that. <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and ramen. Take it back to your noodles. Take it, please. You got the instant noodles. Okay, I can only take one. It's a beta figurine of a, hu a female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's accessing some sort of some kind of puzzle in Snowden. A garbage can. Ah, it's pretty cute. Oof. God, that was a lot of fun. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. So for Alphys, my headcanon voice is um, along the lines of the Ooh, we break the laws of attraction. Um, Fishy Love. It's a really catchy song, and I still remember it to this day. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. I don't... Oh. That's from Medi. Meditun. Looks like it's dusty. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There's letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Oh. Oh wow. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. I'm curious if that's another Homestuck reference. Uh, because in Homestuck there are the green cubes. I can't remember what they're called, but they're like the thing that Roxy uses for all of their like shapes and formings and stuff like that. I don't know if I can- Oh sweet, I can. Tra la la. I am the river man, or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will you go today? Waterfall. Then we're off. Because we should go do the thing with Undyne really quick. Um, and then I think I'll end it there. Tra la la. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. I didn't think I'd get that. Oh, is this quickly? Huh. For, for, I don't know, there's 
I doubt, I doubt there's a lot of you, but, um, come again sometime, tra la la. Uh, Gaster is actually one of my, again, I say favorite characters, but I'm a big fan of the skeletons and the skeleton family, and I'm a big fan of the theory that Gaster is somehow related to the Skell Bros, whether he's their father or, like, creator or... He's just another kind of skeleton. That's like my favorite idea. I personally like the idea of Gaster being a goofball. There was one video that I watched recently that had like the perfect version of Gaster in my book. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Just because, oh god, my, my keyboard keeps on doing things. Uh, do, 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 do. I like how Napsa looks like that area has the sans music. Wait, wait, wait. Cell papyrus. Ring, ring. That's Undine's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. <laughs> I love you, papyrus. Oh ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Of course. Okay, stand behind me. This. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> I love you, Pap. Hi, pa What is that boy? <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. Hi. Wow, I can't. I'm ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training. You bet I am, and I brought friends. Hi, I don't think we've... Yeah. Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Ugh. Thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. They're good for marinades. Jeez, Sundine. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doot. What is... Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Nyeh! <laughs> Example of Papyrus using his powers. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Um, no way, I just wanted to hang out with Papyrus. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Um... You know what? Yes, I'm gonna pull a Yugi. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! I can't. Why am I not getting her voice? I feel like she would actually have a Vrisco voice. I don't know. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? One time, Alphys's a uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. 
in the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some top of the line thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There is silverware in the drawers. Knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. God, Undyne is so perfect. I hate cold food. So I've just fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Um, I mean, yeah, let's see if it's true. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So, me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? God, she's so gay. <laughs> you want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. You are so gay. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit down on progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Do 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 do. I'll sit. What would you like? Oh, key? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Yes. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Sugar, soda, hot chocolate, tea box, fridge. The fridge? You want the entire fridge? No! Oh. Sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Oh, he wants some hot chocolate. Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Undyne, you're so gay. That's sugar for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with the energy spears? Are these ice cream songs a pr are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Actually, every time I hear like the ice cream truck like drive through the neighborhood i just get like flashbacks of all sorts of like bad times and they create like the worst kinds of ice cream and like terror inducing things like the danny phantom ones where the candy slides down to like his cheeks so he has like a green eye on his cheek i'm gonna say yeah what really the rules all right let's go with the tea tea huh coming right up It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. 
once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Hemphinus says some tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to fight, train dorks to fight. Like a papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He just... Well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into tiny little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. <laughs> I love you, one time. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second, Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Okay, don't grab a kid by their head. That's a bad idea. Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? As strong as I can. You punch the vegetables with full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! It's a little messy. Ha. <laughs> We'll just scrape this into the bowl later. But for now... Did she just keep them in the ceiling? We add the noodles! Homie noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest! Yeah! Ha! Uh, just put them in the bot. How will you put them in? I'm gonna throw them down! Throw down a face down! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. That's, that's not how you make pasta, but ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 Ugh, let me do it. I don't have spears like you. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold back. Turn it up! Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! I don't think you can make it this hot. Hotter! Wait, that's too... <laughs> I love her. Whoops. Ah, yeah, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because, if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in strambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. That's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Take a tag. 
You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Hey, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your super saccharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. Seems that you and Asgar are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> well, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with, Py with Pyrus. So if you need me, Drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just get Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. <laughs> <sighs> Good times. What, what, what? Yeah, it's a living. Alright. Well, that that's the date with Undyne. I think I'm going to pause it here because if I... I'm going to do as much of Hotland next time as possible. Um, a lot of Metaton coming up, a lot of Alphys, and a little little bit of a break for my voice. <laughs> Undyne is probably the hardest character for me to try and voice, just because it's a lot of scratchy, shouty, and even then I'm trying to keep it contained so I'm not like... I'm sorry, that was my, my hand. Um, try and not disturb everybody in here. So that's that's a whole thing. Uh, I hope these are enjoyable. I had a lot of fun. I forget just how much I enjoy certain characters. Um, look forward to some more of me referencing some shows that I am big fond of. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you haven't subscribed to me, maybe consider subscribing. I post twice a week, but it might have to drop down to once a week because of some stuff that's going on in my life, and I'll talk about that in a regular uh, speed paint because it's hard to talk about life when I'm playing video games. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.